friends today we would be talking about arsenic trioxide and its properties arsenic trioxide is the most commonly available compound of arsenic in a lab and it is used in glass industries and medical field for the treatment of leukemias the three main allotropic forms of arsenic trioxide are arsenolite clodite and gray glassy amorphous form physical properties of arsenic trioxide it appears as a white amorphous solid and it has very low solubility in water here we are going to test the solubility of arsenic trioxide i have weighed out 1 gram of arsenic trioxide now i will be trying to dissolve this arsenic trioxide in 100 ml of water I initially recorded the temperature which was around 24 degrees Celsius and now I am adding the arsenic trioxide into water. After adding the 1 gram of arsenic trioxide, I will mix the contents very well. You can see that even after mixing the contents the arsenic trioxide is not dissolving in the water a very little amount has dissolved in water you can observe that arsenic trioxide is settling down in clumps now we will heat the solution and raise the temperature according to theory more amount of solid arsenic trioxide will dissolve in water with higher temperature so i will be recording the temperature on heating the solution here you can see that the temperature of the solution has reached to about 75 degrees and now i will give a thorough mixing of the contents along with heating Now you can see that after thorough mixing and heating the contents has dissolved in the water now we would check the ph of the solution and on adding the universal indicator solution it has turned to a yellow color now we will compare the color with the color chart on the universal indicator solution on comparing you can see that the solution is slightly acidic arsenic trioxide is an amphoteric oxide hence it dissolved in water giving ortho arsenous acid now we will see the oxidation of arsenic trioxide i am using nitric acid here and it forms arsenic pentoxide first of all we will be adding some solid arsenic trioxide into the test tube now we will be adding concentrated nitric acid concentrated nitric acid acts as an oxidizing agent you can either use concentrated nitric acid or hydrogen peroxide after adding the nitric acid we will now heat the contents of the test tube so that the reaction will take place much faster You can see that on heating and mixing the contents the solution has turned clear and there is evolution of a brown gas and the solution is turning brown which indicates that the oxidation has taken place and the compound has been converted to arsenic pentoxide and nitric acid is reduced and nitrogen dioxide gas is being formed here you can see clearly the solution Now we will see the reaction of arsenic trioxide with concentrated hydrochloric acid it forms arsenic trichloride alternative methods are given below first of all we take the compound in the test tube the next step is to add the concentrated hydrochloric acid as i always say we add the concentrated acid with the help of a dropper not direct addition after adding the hydrochloric acid we heat the contents so that the reaction takes place much faster and mix it thoroughly
You can see that the reaction has taken place completely and the white arsenic trioxide has completely dissolved and the solution is clear now. Since arsenic is a metalloid, it also forms metal arsenides on reaction with metal hydroxides. Synthesis of sodium arsenide is by the reaction of sodium carbonate with arsenic trioxide. Alternatively, it can be prepared by sodium hydroxide instead of carbonate. Step 1 is to add the arsenic trioxide. Now we will be adding a super saturated or a concentrated solution of sodium carbonate into it. Now we will mix the contents thoroughly and the temperature required for this reaction to take place is around 90 degrees. So we will be heating the contents and recording the temperature. You can observe that the contents are turning clear which means that the arsenic trioxide has completely reacted with the sodium carbonate and the temperature now reads around 90 degrees so we will stop the heating process and take out the notice the clear solution now we will be talking about an important compound of arsenide group that is the copper arsenide also known as skeel screen a bit of history about Napoleon's death. The cause of his death is believed to be stomach cancer due to arsenic exposure and his rooms were painted with Paris green color. The green dye skills green was converted into a volatile compound called thioarsine by the molds which was attracted due to the damp walls. Here we will be preparing the skills green. First of all, we take the sodium arsenide solution prepared earlier and add the copper sulphate solution. You can see that as soon as I add the copper sulphate, there is formation of a beautiful green precipitate. And this green precipitate is the copper arsenide. And this was the dye used for painting walls previously, but it has been banned now because of the toxicity produced by the arsenic. Now we see the reaction of hydrogen sulfide with arsenic compounds forming arsenic trisulfide, a beautiful yellow precipitate. Here we are taking the arsenic trichloride prepared earlier. Now we will be passing hydrogen sulfide gas through it. You can see that on passing the gas there is formation of a beautiful yellow precipitate. And this precipitate is arsenic trisulfide. And this is used as a test for analysis of arsenic ions in the laboratory. A word of caution about arsenic salts, these are very toxic and even a small quantity can cause death. Avoid direct contact, use gloves and other personal protective measures. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. If you loved my video and learned a bit about arsenic, please subscribe to my channel and click on the bell button.